Okay. Hey guys, it's Haley, and I am back with another video. So, um, I haven't filmed in a couple days, and the last video I filmed was actually a craft with me, and it ended up being an hour and a half long, and I was doing like kind of more chatting than crafting, and I didn't like it, so I deleted it. But I'll show you kind of what I was working on, and then today I want to kind of start a new series. I just renamed an older video because it's kind of the same thing, but I want to start the ser a series called Stash Dive. And I want to, you know, pull out a certain part of my stash or a certain thing or maybe a certain brand or something that maybe used to be really popular or something that, you know, is just kind of overlooked and kind of go through that, uh, get some new ideas from it and, you know, start using those things again. So first I'll show you kind of what I've been doing just crafty wise. So let's see, as you guys know, um, I had made this little card. It's actually um, just on, you know, regular computer weight paper, this little journal sheet. Um, I haven't done anything with it since the craft with me. It's just got some layered papers and um, book page. And just some cutesy things. I liked the picture. And the back is for journaling. And I wanted to put it inside this envelope. Which I've kind of altered. Um, this little blue piece. Or kind of blue. What was blue. Was what I put on there. Kind of when I was you know, cutting the envelope apart. Because that's where like a return address or something was. I had sewed this little scrap of um, crocheted lace on. In my last video and all I did you know there's some layering with two little pieces of paper some sewing there's a tag two other little scraps and some stamping and then I just tied this little bow here um this I actually just I had forgotten to attach it so I glued it on this morning so that's still a little wet then so how I want to use it obviously I want the photo in there so you can see it in the envelope and let me grab a sheet of paper Okay, I want, like, say, you know, this is my book, this is the edge of the page, I want it to go on like this, and the flap will be adhered down to the page, so this will flip out, and then um, I made, I just inked up that tag that we had made, and I stitched the bottom close in that video, I had just, you know, had this scrap of paper and it fit perfectly, so... I had adhered it on the last craft with me, this recent one, I stitched the bottom, and this was a scrap of paper in a strip, and there were like two little half pieces I have left, and then these three stamps, or these three embellishments, you can kind of see the stamp through it, but all I did was um, just ink them up a little bit and put a stamp on it. I don't mind that you can see it because it doesn't like actually interfere with the images. I used the VersaFine ink, and yeah, so these just go in the pocket, they're little journal spots, and then I made like a secret journaling spot, and again, I just adhered these bits down with some scrap fabric, and I think I want to like maybe put extra two little pieces here, just so it's easier to write since there's fabric and stuff on it. I just wanted it to look kind of messy messy. You know I like a ton of space for writing and obviously this will be inside of the envelope so did that then okay these are the scrappities so I quit watching crafting videos <laughs> um, as you guys know when I was getting back into it I found this lady Gail Agostinelli I still really like her and I'm still subscribed to her because I'm sure eventually I'll start watching craft videos again but just for now and I'll give you the reason so I actually like watch like focus watch like two or three of her videos and then I would um, leave her videos on like pick a playlist from her channel and just like always have it going when I was crafting so I was listening to you know what was going on and um, anyway there was a kind of big project or I thought was a really cool idea that I had planned and it wasn't her video it had you know gone to somebody else's it was just playing through and they had done something really similar but mine is different and 
a little more complicated and I'm yeah I have some stuff ordered for it that I've been working on for a few weeks and I want to get it planned and not just planned but I want to get it made and show you guys before I say what it is so anyway when I first saw it I, um that someone had made it I was like is this just like a fluke like one person made this or is this like a thing so I went to YouTube and searched what it was you know you can search a tutorial on fussy cutting on DIY embellishments and then they'll have a, a whole list of all the videos related to that and there were at least like eight or nine so I know it's probably already been a thing that type of thing but anyway I still want to do it and I want to do it in my way and share it with you guys so that is why I quit watching the videos because I, I just got disappointed. I was like, there's nothing going to be, you know, nothing that I think of. I was feeling that way. Like nothing that I think of is going to be new because everyone else has been, you know, I quit for years and they just kept crafting and develop, you know, the world did not stop for me. <laughs> everyone kept developing their ideas and crafting. So I just want to do my thing. And if I, if someone had, if I see something and someone has the same idea or if I obviously if I get an idea from someone of course I will um, give them a shout out give them credit etc but for now I'm just not watching any more crafting videos so but when I was these I didn't really understand what it was so I've heard of paper dolls of course um, vintage paper dolls were really popular for a time um, which essentially were you know like little dolls made of paper and they had you know little clothes that kids could dress them on etc but people had these like little black and white images and they're like, these are the paper dolls, the paper dolls. So I searched them and it, they were Tim Holtz brand paper dolls. And I think they were just kind of like the found relatives, which are just, they're basically just black and white photos. Um, so I was like, well, I think what makes those especially different is because they were like usually full body shots of people. So I just got on Pinterest, found some images and I decided to print them out and try my hand at fussy cutting. This one I haven't done yet. Oh, also, don't try to fussy cut black and white images in the dark. <laughs> it's impossible. I had Netflix on and that's all that was lighting the room. So they're not perfect, but I think they've turned out pretty well. And I don't know if I'm gonna use some matte Mod Podge, leave them as they are. I don't know. So I made my own little paper dolls. I have these images. I'm going to use these, like the background from them, as just layering scraps. And then I still have um, this one and these left to fussy cut. And then I made the first copy on just computer weight paper. Because for some reason, when I print on computer weight paper, the images are much more vibrant. And I think it's because it's a much more smooth surface. It's not as porous. So it doesn't absorb the ink as much like the cardstock does. Because when the ink seeps in, it, you know, spreads. So anyway, that's why I think I wanted to test it on the computer weight paper, see how crisp they were, and then go ahead and try the cream cardstock. So like this is the cream and that's the black and white image. And honestly, I kind of like it on the cream more, but I can do whatever I want with these. So um, I may like go ahead and Mod Podge these onto something else and then cut them out. And yeah, or maybe I'll just keep them thin. I don't know. I don't know. So did those. I had printed these out previously to the whole paper dolls idea that I saw. Um, I'm pretty, I'm sure it was Gail's. That's pretty much the only person's name. I'm sorry that I can remember right now because like when I would put on a craft video, it, I would I would put on one of her videos specifically. And then if it went to somebody else's, like if I didn't have it on a playlist, yeah, I don't. But um, if I there's a specific idea or something that I want to do, I will definitely go look up that person's name. So anyway, if I had printed these out before, which I believe were just for like the domino People do altered dominoes and things. Oh, and I got those cool poker chips. I want to try and alter a little bit. But anyway, I think some of these might even make some cute little tiny paper dolls because they are full body images. I don't know. And some of them I'll just use. I just printed them for the images because they're cool. So I have those with it. 
that's what I've been working on. I also, I know I showed you guys that, like, one of the first journals I did, and it was in a book just like this. This one, I think I had initially just, like, put water on it to warp the pages, and then I actually s accidentally spilled, like, um, I don't know, I'm sure it was an energy drink on it. <laughs> so, but anyway, I had pulled this out, and some of the pages had been ripped out of the front, um, so, and it's made in one single signature, so I took the other half out, and I'm going, these are just really great textured layering pieces, but I really like these books. The one that I did my journal in, it has uh, the little ledger piece on the front and the bike, and it's not bound, really. It just has the ribbon down the center. It was in a, the same set from this book, but that one is the grid paper. Yeah. And this one was just regular lines paper. This is wide rule, but still. Whatever. Just another random thing I did. And then, yeah, let's get into our a stash dive. So, what I had pulled out and I had just kind of sitting there was, it was in one of these little square containers. And I had taken them out, got them all cleaned up because I had them out in a shared space with our landlord. And it's, anyway taken them out, gotten them, you know, if there's dust on the top of the books or whatever, got it all nice and done and then um, put it in this bag. So I have, I'll show you the, um, all of these Smashbook embellishment things. I think the, this is one of the mini booklets, but I think I have every single full size smash pad that they ever came out with. And I just pulled this out specifically. Oh, I know why I pulled this one out. I was thinking of putting this in the like secret journaling spot behind this place. I, I don't know. If I'm going to have to like cut it a bunch or what? Ooh, I could put like the door on the hinge. Kind of like it. I think that will be cool. All right. I'm just going to set that there. So that's why I pulled that out. These came in a set with the washi tape and this mini smash pad and this mini smash book. There's always hair everywhere. Um, I really like the smash book. It obviously came with the band on it and has a folder pocket tons of really cool pages in here. I mean, I, I almost like this better than like the full size smash books. And I have one full size name brand smash book that I actually, I'll just show you really quick because I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It is this one it has the cream and the little embossed thingamabob. This I had been like gathering all of like my wedding themed stuff in or like little notes from people or just things that said wedding things. So I have those in here and I was thinking of doing all the wedding stuff in this. So see there's like a little church thingy thing. Oh it is wedding style specific. Duh. And I have a Recollections brand smash book. Recollections is just Michael's brand. Um, this is all how it came. I didn't add any of this. I do want to change like the pattern on this for sure. I don't like that. Um, some of it's a little bit old school, but this also um, really matches the brand. I still have it right here. Simple stories. There's a lot of simple stories, collections and stuff that match this. Say Cheese is one of them. I like this page. It's cute. But anyway, this was a Recollections brand smash book. So I guess it's not technically a smash book, but you know what I mean. And finally, I have a Hello Kitty 
brand Smashbook. And it's not, huh? Is it the Smashbook brand? I don't know. But I have this. And I used to be really into Hello Kitty. I do still have a couple Hello Kitty things. I have some little cards, like playing cards and note sheets and stuff. And, you know, for something different, I'm going to do my vintage -y stuff for a while. But I think this would be something, like, really fun and kind of kitschy, cheesy kind of thing to do. So, yeah, those, I believe, are all my full-size smash books but I could have sworn that I had the pink bindered one but I it's not on my shelf where you know all my journals and stuff are and I wouldn't have put it in another place like my wedding one I had in my little tote whatever so these were like the packaging that came in the flat box where all this stuff was set in and I took this out and saved it because I liked the patterns on it and I'm going to go ahead and make little, like, coin envelopes and just adhere, like, a piece of cardstock right here. And they will be nice little pockets. So I had saved those. Okay. This washi, even when I first got it, it's just, you can't use it. Like, what? It's like sticky. Let me know if there's any sort of remedy for that, but I don't think so. See, this matches this. Because that's really disappointing because I never got to use any of it. This mini pad, see, I don't know if it is just kind of like a bits and pieces of the other themed pads or if it's its own because it just says pad. There's no type. But there are some cool little like you know, cards in here, and these are actually cardstock, whereas the other type are computer weight paper. But they often have like, r like really cool, like vintage looking themes and color palettes. So that is the small book. And then, all right. <clears throat> I'm going to pull out all of the full-size books, and firstly, I'll show you the only other non-book things. So, I have these, and let me grab this. Alright, I'm not going to go through this. I got this at Tuesday morning a while ago, I believe. I believe this is from Tuesday morning unless someone sent it to me. No, I think this is Tuesday morning. But these are like large kind of gift boxes. But they have like pop-outs and kind of cool stuff. So I have that. And then these were like tear apart, cut apart little sheety things. Sheet check off kind of things. And I believe... At least some of these were sent in the swap, I think. Maybe. So yeah, got these little bits. And then I have the smash book, smash pad sticky notes. And again, I do have like a full thing of them with my sticky notes. I mean, if you're interested, I can show you in another video, but they're the regular ones that most people have seen. I guess I should keep them with this. I'll just grab them. All right, might as well keep them all together. So these are the other two that I have. And I believe one of these I got in my first original set, which I really think I have the pink one, but I wouldn't have put it anywhere else. Anyway, these have some really cool images. I really wanted to do a B journal. Um, I had actually saved some different B things, but that has been a thing. I know Gail did one. She did had several videos that were for a B project she did. So anyway, I still might do one just because I like it. <clears throat> then there are these little pockets. I do, again, have a couple of those 
with my bin with all my pockets and envelopes because like if stuff came in the swap I would like be careful take the washi off so I could send everybody their you know bits and pieces in cute little envelopes but these came with this set and then these are all of the smash pads why I had taken like all of them out of the book I don't know like if I have multiples of the booklet I only took one out but yeah didn't know why I did that and the first ones I rounded the corners again don't know why I did that I used to only have a large or a small corner rounder and like the project life standard size is a medium <laughs> so they're either weirdly small or weirdly large and I think this is kind of like the most common one and um, let's see maybe these were just miscellaneous ones oh these are the punch out ones and they these pieces actually punch out they're pretty cool they have different bits there's also I have ephemera actually as well and some of them have punch outs so yeah I'm not gonna go pull every single thing out but I just wanted to show you you know this would be one of the things that I just kind of wouldn't go to to think like I wouldn't think about wouldn't be my go-to like oh you know what smash book stuff would be really cool these are blank which are just kind of cool little note sheets they'll have different basic little titles I really like that but again they have some really cool like things in here and if you have smash book stuff even if you're not into specifically smash booking in a smash book that way there's definitely really cool little bits and pieces that like I still want to use pretty much all of this really yeah like all of it obviously I'm pretty ticked that I can't use this um, and some of the I have two different things of like ephemera you know like die ephemera scrapbooking ephemera not real vintage ephemera you know what I mean and some of it has like punch out pieces like I know there's a cute one that's like would you date me or would you go out with me yes or no and I think you know like what kids did in middle school not me because no one liked me but you know most kids <laughs> anyway these are the rest that go with these go ahead and put this together I like them the highlights and this one is called favorite person this one there's one called special occasions and let's see top 10 10 things I wish you do top 10 to do list top 10 blank I love the blank and saw the punch out the special occasion I want to say must be in here the highlights mama's recipe you can find me a day in the life of dream destination advice to my future self brainstorm stuff that looks like a blank one I don't know why some of these are mixed up because I know they are come on there is past present and future away we go that one goes into there's a family maybe that was part of special occasions transfer paper I do this one's really pretty cool um, I know like checkbooks used to have this where it would have like one or two copies so like if you wrote a checkout you kept like the carbon copy of it so you knew exactly which checks you wrote out and whatnot how funny is this IOU and there's like a carbon copy of it I know it's it's like kind of a random thing but I just thought these are really interesting this one just looks like notebook paper draw your bestie like you could put that in your book and then give it to them 
task list things to do you could you know keep a copy of it in your like little memory journal and tear the other one out to take with you DIY inspiration Ooh, that's really cool looking so yeah there is two more activity and entertainment activity pad is like little games and stuff match the snacks below I'm so hungry it's like hangman crystal ball predictions tic-tac-toe my top 10 bucket list uh, quotations that's what all of these with rounded edges are those are quotes I wish I would have said favorite quote from so-and-so again why are they all mixed up I don't know and then entertainment best place to go for oh my god that was fun get down and that is all of the booklets I own it's like there's still a little piece of dust on the top so there's quite a few um pretty much well all of them yes I got them either on sale I got some at Tuesday morning these um average price were about $2.49 I remember that's kind of the price I paid often at joann's.com I ordered some of these from Joann's. I got some again Tuesday morning and I believe I got um, that larger set at Michael's and then my friend gave me the recollections one and for some reason I thought maybe she actually gave me the wedding type one too my friend Carrie so yeah there's also ephemera, a couple packs, but yes, not saying this is stuff you should go out and buy. Um, if it's something you're interested in, interested in, usually all of these things you can find really cheap now. But yeah, if there's things like this that you have in your stash that if you're not doing, if you're doing more vintage style now, or if you're doing like total opposite of vintage and this still has little bits and pieces, there's still stuff in here you can use and there's really cool like ideas. Like even if you're not doing a big craft project, but in your own like journaling, there are a lot of really great journaling prompts. And when I, before I really got back into my crafting, I was still doing a lot of writing and that's kind of what built into it. My mom got me the butterfly book and I was doing my couponing and then I was journaling just about stuff in general and couponing how do you whatever I'm weird and I was like oh journaling prompts I was like I wonder I have a book for it and then I was like oh those smash pads and, I, and then I went through them and yeah so there's this is my first official stash dive video of Smashbook K and Company brand goodies. If these are things that you have in your stash, pull them out, play with them, and yeah, get some ideas. Obviously, again, they're great for journaling spots. They're great to use as your regular journal cards, tag spots. If you are doing, you know, like if you had done a cool little collage and maybe you just did it on cardstock, you could put one of the little um, tag pads on the back as your journaling space. You could do anything you want. Put them on an actual large tag, make them, layer them into something, make them the focal point. Yeah, use what you have and I will be back with another video and I'm going to be doing some craft with me. So the secret word of the day is little baby deer. I had said in a previous uh, longer video I gave a secret word out and if you left a comment below and in your comment you had your little secret word had the secret word then um, I would send you some goodies and my next video I'm be doing some craft with me and part of that will be making some embellishments 
which is some of the things that I'm going to be sending. I'm going to be sending some embellishments, just little bits and pieces, just a small envelope, a little thank you, you know, a little envelope of goodness. So cute little deer. This is what reminded me. This is Studio Calica paper. Cute little deer. Write a comment however you want to write it or just write that however you want. And yep, I'll comment back to you and then you can email me. So let me know what you think. Uh, last time I did, I picked all the people that commented that in the first day and it was like four people. Um, three have emailed me so far. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks. Bye.